Yeah, it's it's funny. When I first started meditating, it was really hard, right? Because everybody, I, I think a lot of people who listen to this broadcast, they've heard of meditation that has a good rep. So everybody tries it. They struggle. They kind of give it up. It's one of those things that everybody says they do, but nobody actually does, <laughs> right? It's like not eating sugar, right? right. Everyone right. talks about how, yeah, I don't eat sugar, but like, yeah, then, right. then the dessert tray rolls around and everyone's going for the cookies, <laughs> yep. right? Yep. So it's become one of those things. And, and in fact, it's now even become a signaling thing where mm -hmm. it's like, oh, how much did you meditate? I right. meditated this much. Yep. Or, you know, there are people now wearing headbands saying with Tweety birds that chirp and then when they're in deep meditation, I don't, I don't know how they make it work, but <laughs> they'll be like, I got a lot of chirps today. How many chirps did you get? Oh, right? God. Oh, your meditation technique is wrong. Mine is right. But yeah. really all it is is the art of doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's important because I think when we, when we grow up, right, there's all this stuff happening to you in your life. And some of it you're processing, some of it you're absorbing, and some of it you should probably think a little bit more about and work through, but you don't, you don't have time. So it gets buried in you. And it's all these preferences and judgments and unresolved situations and issues. And it's like your email inbox. It's just piling up email after email after email that's not answered, going back 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And then when you sit down to meditate, those emails start coming back at you. Hey, what about this issue? What about that issue? Have you solved this? Did you think about that? You have regrets there? You have issues there? And that gets scary. People don't want to do that. It's so like, it's not working. I can't clear my mind. I better get up and not do this. But really what's happening is it's, it's, it's self-therapy. It's just that instead of paying a therapist to sit there and listen to you, you're listening to yourself. And you just have to sit there as those emails go through one by one. You work through each of them until you get to the magical inbox zero. And there comes a day when you sit down, you realize the only things you're thinking about are things that happened yesterday because you've processed everything else, not necessarily even resolved it, but at least listen to yourself. And that's when meditation starts. And I think it's a, it's a very powerful thing that everybody should experience. And that's when you arrive upon the art of doing nothing. Well, I think it's even a problem that most people are getting their meditation from an app. I will not use an app. It's sneaky. <laughs> I mean, Sam Harris is a very good meditation app, I should say that. But you should be able to just do it. And m many people can't. It is, it is literally the art of doing nothing. Yes. So all you need to do for meditation is just sit down, close your eyes, comfortable position, whatever happens, happens. If you think, you think. If you don't think, you don't think. Don't put effort into it. Don't put effort against it. It's all you need. Do you concentrate on your breath or nothing. do you have a specific nothing. technique? Nothing. 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 No, you just, you just sit. You just sit. I think about my breath. That's all I do. I just you can do I try to only concentrate on breathing. I used to do that, but at some level, all the concentration, every meditation technique is leading you to the same thing, which is just mm. witnessing. Yes. And concentration is a technique to still your mind enough that you can then drop the object of concentration. So you could also just try going straight to the end game. The problem with what I'm talking about, which is not focusing on your breath, is you will have to listen to your mind for a long time. It's not gonna work unless you do at least an hour a day and preferably at least 60 days before you kind of work through a lot of issues. So it'll be hell for a while, but when you come out the other side, it's great. You get rid of the chatter. Or when the chatter comes, it's in the background, it's dimmer, it's smaller, you've heard it before, you see the patterns, uh, it's more recent, it's something you need to resolve anyway, and you will get moments of actual silence. What is your What's your ultimate state when you meditate? Like, is there a, a state where you've achieved rarely, if ever, where you just, you, you, you're in bliss or you're in harmony or you're in enlightenment? Like what? <laughs> it's kind, of, word, it's kind right? of indescribable uh, because when you're really meditating, you're not there. When mm -hmm. there's no thoughts, there's no experience or there's nothing. There's right. just nothing. Uh, so it's, it's hard to describe, but I would say that uh, it's like a... You can definitely, in every psychedelic state that people encounter using so-called plant medicines can be arrived at just through pure meditation. And I've definitely hit some of those states. You've hit some transcendent psychedelic states where you're yeah, hallucinating had, the whole deal? I've had trippy visuals. I've had the kind of the lights and colors. I've mm. had the, the so-called downloads. I've had the realizations. I've had the bliss. I've had the light. I've had the colors. But, but not every time. No, it's rarely. And in fact, I would say that's a that's a... That's also like an experience that you can start craving, which will then actually take you out of meditation. Mm. Um, where you really, and I'm not enlightened or anything close to it, so not even the ballpark, but my own experience, and this is just personal experience, is the place where I end up the most that is really the one that I, I, I want to be at is peace. Mm. 
It's just peace. Peace, happy. Yeah, peace. To, to me, peace is happiness at rest, and happiness is kind of peace in motion. You can convert peace to happiness anytime you want, but peace is what you want most of the time. That's interesting. You can convert peace to happiness anytime you want. Yeah, if you're a peaceful person, anything you do will be a happy activity. Mm. And by the way, being on social media and engaging in politics will not bring you peace. There is nothing less peaceful, right? And the in today's day and age, the way we think you get peace is by resolving all your external problems. But there's unlimited external problems. So the only way to actually get peace is on the inside by giving up this idea of problems. Who thinks you can get peace by resolving external problems other than politicians? Uh, everybody. That's really? what everybody's struggling to yeah. do, right? Why are you trying to make money to solve all your money problems? Mm. Why are you trying to win at politics? Because then you'll be at peace because your people will have won. <sighs> it's a daunting task to get your shit together. It's easier to change yourself than to change the world. That's true. Yeah. And the best way to change the world is to change yourself. Exactly. It's all, 